How to model a computer mouse. This the one we are going to model. Please find shortcuts displayed on the screen. Ok let's start. In front viewport, place cube above x axis line. Apply all transforms. Type scale x, 1.32. Scale y, 1.9 and scale z, 0.5. Apply all transforms. Edit mode, apply subdivide. 3 for number of cuts. Select 3 horizontal edges and dissolve them. Right view, X-ray mode, adjust vertices in Z-axis. Make it look like, side profile of computer mouse. Top view, enable mesh symmetry X, adjust vertices. To match top profile of a mouse. Switch off X-ray mode. Select middle faces in the top upper surface. Front view, move the selected faces a bit higher. Perspective view, select and raise the middle edges. Right view, add two vertical loops in front portion. Switch on X-ray. Adjust vertices to make it curve. In perspective, select upper and lower edge loops. Now apply bevel. Width 0.031. In right view, add horizontal loop in the middle. 0 0.640 for smoothness. In perspective, select lower double edge loops. And scale down a bit. Top view, switch off X-ray mode. Add vertical loop in mid region on the either side. Add two horizontal loop cuts below the mid region. Add few more edge loops to keep the shape intact. One on the left side. Another on the right. Final in the below, that is, front portion. Now, select edge loops in the middle. Deselect edges near buttons. In X-ray mode, dissolve them. Select faces between the buttons. Along with, upper surface edge loop. Apply extrude faces along normals and push inside. Select faces between the buttons. And scale down in X axis to bring them closer. Same line. At nose part, bring the vertices closer. And set right the jaggy vertices. Add two edge loops inside the dent, one in the upper. Another in the lower. Final one on the outside. Now use knife tool to fill the missing edge link. From modifiers, choose subdivision surface. 3 for levels viewport and render. Apply shade auto smooth. Now subdivision is finally gets applied by clicking on apply. Create a cylinder. Shape it like scroll or wheel and position it. We will use it make hole in the mouse mesh. Let it be slightly bigger than scroll or wheel. Select mouse. 
From Modifiers, choose Boolean. In Object Field, choose Scroller Wheel. Object Properties, under Display, switch on Bounds. You can see the Boolean effect. Now back to Textured from Bounds. Click Apply for Boolean to make effect permanent. Now scale down the Scroller Wheel. Apply all transforms, then apply origin to geometry. Let's apply bevel for wheel. 5 for segments. 0 0.038 for width. Create plane. Scale down. Place on upper surface. Before subdividing, add 4 vertical edge loops. Now subdivide. 10 for number of cuts. Name it brand name. Apply all transforms. Apply origin to geometry. In UV editing, inside UV editor, switch on sync. Apply unwrap. Rotate it straight. Apply pack UV. Apply export UV layout. Type dimensions. Choose format. Choose location. Give a name. Save it. Load the exported UV layout image in Photoshop and create a brand name texture with alpha channel. In shading, inside shader editor, click on new, give a name. Maximize shader editor view, load image texture node, apply the image that you created in Photoshop, connect color to color. In material preview, check the texture, make black portion transparent using alpha channel, copy image node, connect alpha to alpha. In material properties, under settings, choose alpha hashed for both. Alpha channel got applied. Switch on wireframe under overlays. Go to modifiers. Apply shrink wrap. Refer mouse mesh in the field. Now let's remove this mesh intersection. Increasing the offset removes intersection. Go to material properties. Click on new. Give a name. Black for base color. Type 0.2 for metallic, specular and roughness. Select wheel. Link black material from the browse. We have completed the mouse model. See you in the next lesson. I conduct online classes on Blender. You may contact me in my email. Thanks for watching.